Hello, this is Mad Doctor for iGeekPhone.com. This is one more review for uh, Aldo Cube X, a tablet that uh, was uh, sent to me from uh, Aldo Cube. It's uh, the latest uh, tablet, a very good one, with 10.5-inch uh, 2K uh, resolution, AKM Hi-Fi chip, 6.9 millimeters ultra thin, MediaTek 8176, a 64-bit processor with Android 8.1 Oreo, 4 gigabyte of RAM, 64 gigabyte of ROM with fingerprint scanner, which is uh, positioned on uh, the side, 8000 milliampere battery, and dual camera of 8 megapixel uh, screen uh, resolution. Uh, you can uh, find it at uh, Banggood, Gearbest, and AliExpress. And it's time to open the package. So this is what I found inside uh, the box that uh, I opened uh, from the postage that uh, was sent to me. On the left we see the box uh, from uh, the Aldo Cube X uh, tablet. A very nice design from the outside. But uh, from what I see, apart from here it says AMOLED. Super AMOLED. White front, cinder black. Uh, it has some data from what I see here. 64 gigabyte tablet PC. Apart from that, no other data what contains inside. And uh, on the right we have uh, the latest earphones that were sent uh, to me and I really thank them for this uh, extra gift that uh, they sent me. The Aldo Cube F40. Uh, which works very well uh, with the AKM uh, sound chip uh, that uh, the tablet has. So, we'll see it later. Let's start with the tablet. So we open the box. As you saw from the beginning of this video, uh, this tablet is around, uh, it's below $300. So it's and not an expensive tablet. So what we find inside is a white tablet. This outdoor cube. I guess model X, model U1005. Input 5 volt, 7 volt, 9 volt. Designed by outdoor cube, made in China. And under this, we find this box. Let's see what's inside it. It's a full size, from what I see, it's a Type C. That's good. Type C cable for charging the tablet. And here on this side, oh, it has with a EU. Uh, adapter, very good. A pin. To take out the card tray and insert the TF card. And a manual. A quick manual which says the specifications uh, of the tablet. So it's uh, MediaTek uh, Hexacore uh, with peak of 2.1 GHz, 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of ROM, displays a 10.5 inch 2560 to 1600 AMOLED, 10.0 touch screen. 8000 milliampere battery with microphone, double trumpet speaker, G sensor, OTG, Android 8.1, 
two cameras, one front, one rear, with 8 megapixel uh, resolution, supports Bluetooth, TF card, uh, it connects uh, dual frequency Wi-Fi support, we're going to see it here with my uh, 5G Wi-Fi uh, network that I have. Uh, battery life uh, standby 35 days. You can play 34 hours continuously music. Video is about 6 hours. And uh, SNR is uh, above 95 decibel. So you, hear, so you see here it says rear camera, USB Type-C, the fingerprint is, uh, the scanner is on at the side as I told you, headphone jack, power button, volume, plus, minus, the speakers, light sensor, front camera on the upper part, TF card on the upper part, speaker 2. So, I'm going to place this aside and I'm going to open now the tablet itself and this one. So here is uh, the fingerprint scanner, the earphones Type-C plug power button is on the left side. I was used on the right side usually. Uh, the volume buttons, speakers for the TF card here is uh, for the pin, uh, light sensor, front camera, rear camera. So let's power it up. Aldo Cube powered by Android. Looks a nice tablet. Uh, the processor, it might be not uh, the latest, but uh, still you can play uh, games with it without having problems. Uh, the dual speakers. Uh, uh, it's a good thing because uh, you can have a better, a better sound experience. So, hi there, United States, English, I'm going to leave it there. So, start has visual settings from what I see. It's searching for Wi-Fi. So it found my 5G. Let's connect. So it's connecting, connected, checking for updates. Set up a new start. Checking info. I'm going to put my Google account. So I inserted my Google account. I'm going to skip this for now with fingerprint, not now, as you can see you can use patterns, skip green, sk uh, pattern, uh, password or a pin, access your assistant with voice mats, let's say I agree, ok Google OK Google, Hey Google, Hey Google, all complete, all set. So I don't want, uh, no, 
I want the location. No thanks. So let's finish. Nice colors. Well, it's a AMOLED screen, so we are expecting to have good colors. Let's have a quick look at the settings here. So network connected devices, it has Bluetooth and uh, with Miracast from what I see. Battery, it's 93% and it says that it has 2 hours and 29 minutes left. From what I see, standby intelligent power saver, power saver, you can activate it or not, battery percentage, now you can see the battery percentage here. Storage 56.79 gigabyte, gigabyte are free, 11 percentage is uh, used. Sound not bad. Security location, screen lock and fingerprint. I haven't set up uh, fingerprint. Now, as you see, about tablet U1005, as it says on the back. It has gestures. So, Android 8.1, January 5, 2019. Let's see if it has any update. Check for update. Network not available. Why? Because it's off. All right, it's connected. So check for updates. It found an update with minor bug fixes. 116 megabyte. We are going to download it later. Uh, sound is good and solid and strong from what I see. It can set up to full screen. Let's download one, two apps to see what the info is going to be shown. So now that we have downloaded some apps, let's see CBU Z. So it says six cores, two arm Cortex A72, four arm Cortex A53, uh, clocked at 2.11 gigahertz. U1005 old cube with MediaTek 8176 <coughs> the screen size here it says 12.58 inches it's 10.5 from what I have seen so uh, Android 8.1 battery 90% here it says 4000 millivolt No thermal data and sensors only accelerometer. So let's run IDA. Aldo Cube, 4 gigabyte of RAM and 64 gigabyte of ROM. Here it's Bluetooth 4 Plus version. MediaTek. 8176, 98 nanometers. Display here says the screen resolution 240 dpi. The GPU card is PowerVR ROG GX 
6,250. So Wi-Fi battery, 8,000 milliamperes, 3.9 volt. Android 8.1 Oreo. So 8 milliampere is uh, the resolution for the rear facing camera, 8 is for the front. Power VR ROG GX 6250 is the graphic card, 36 Celsius accelerometer. Apps, these are only installed. And Antutu, since it's a MediaTek, it's not that important to run a MediaTek to see what is happening. Uh, let's see now the camera. This is really close. Let's take this one. And this is the video. Not bad for 8 megapixel of camera. Let's see. Now, this is the image that we're taking inside the video. So, let's see an info here. Uh, 2.1 megapixel, 1920 to 1080, f2.8, ISO 194, all this is in auto. Not bad, a really good and big tablet. So, uh, One moment to update. So we have updated. Let's hear something. This is from uh, Adam Pacman and very good video reviewer. A little bit. Yes. Not bad. So now, since we saw how good is the video? Let's see and the earphones that were sent to me. So
So I have connected the earphones as you can see with uh, YouTube and uh, the sound that comes out it's really very good and very clear. I can uh, hardly hear myself. The sound that comes in from the tablet is very good, very good quality, very strong and the sound that I receive from the earphones is very good without any problem. Uh, the earphones are uh, placed around my ears so it's uh, very difficult and almost impossible I could say to drop them down. They are in-ear mode, the earphones as you can see in, in, the fo in the picture here. So, this is my doctor for iGeekPhone.com. Come and read my full review at iGeekPhone.com. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe in our channel in order to see further reviews and items that you want and like. This is my doctor. Bye.